Hey there, this is Frank at Frank's Friendly Cars. Today we're doing a demonstration of swapping the valve springs on a 2G RFE Toyota 3.5 liter engine for dual overhead cams. So uh, the engine's up on a stand, we've already removed the valve covers and the cams and all kinds of stuff that's in the way of swapping the springs. And uh, we've been at this for a little while, so I already swapped a bunch of springs, and every one that's been swapped has got a little blue dot on it. All right, you can see those. And now we're going to do this one. Where is it? This one right here that I'm pointing at with my finger is going to be swapped next. All right, and what we're going to do for swapping it is use this tool. It's the Toyo tool. Fantastic tool. I got this one from Monkey Ranch Racing. They sell it for about the same price that it's available from the manufacturer. Okay, so I like to support MWR because they're pretty cool. Shout out to you, MWR. I also like DDPR. They're great. I like Prime MR2 and I like ATS Racing. I like all those shops because they support the MR2 community. They're great shops and I love them all. I try to spread my business between them and uh, if I were richer, I'd give them each more business. Maybe that'll happen someday. All right, so... Anyway, what we got going on here is there's a little compressor. The compressor is hooked up to a tube that screws in to the spark plug um, cavity. And uh, I've got the cylinder. Okay, the piston for this cylinder is up at top dead center. And I got it pressurized with about 20 PSI. That's all it takes. 20 PSI is more than enough to hold the valve up. All right, and now since I can't hold the camera and change the spring at the same time I'm gonna hand the Toyo tool over to my assistant who wishes to remain anonymous so I am not gonna bring his uh, uh, face into the picture and uh, he's kind of a hand model he's a professional hand model as you can see he uh, just uh, did something funny which we don't understand but uh, just put the tool on top of the valve stem and uh, push it down smoothly and then the magnets inside the tool hold the keepers and the retainer and they're in there. So next thing we do is we swap them. And this is the work surface right here where we put the retainers back or the keepers back inside the retainer or whatever. I don't know which one is the keeper, which one is the retainer. I don't really care. Right, so then uh, we put it back together. We flip the tool to the other side. Okay, so this is the side for installation. It has a little ball on it. We take a new spring out of the box, put the spring in place where it belongs, okay, right around the valve stem, okay, then we put the top back on, line it up nicely so everything lines up with the valve stem, and then the tool is applied as straight as possible, nicely lined up, and with smooth pressure, smooth uniform pressure. He weighs 220 pounds. All right, smooth uniform pressure, and it's done. All right, it's just as straight as can be. And we got another one done. We're gonna dab it with a uh, nail polish. All right, and for you ladies watching, that's like a $10 bottle of nail polish right there and whatever is left just uh i'll send it out to you first last package and you can put it on your toenails but uh that's it so you get the idea there's 24 of these valves on this engine and we have got uh 20 of them done now all right four to go thank you for watching and uh, aloha from maui in the Hawaiian Islands where every day is a beautiful day at Frank's Friendly Cars.